Hello, it's Guy here from GZ Models. Today I'm going to be doing the product review of the Tamiya's 1-12 Kawasaki Ninja H2R. As you can see, it's finished, all the decals are on. Um, the only decals I didn't decide to do in the end was all these fairing bolts. I just used the old method of paint, a little bit of chrome paint. Uh, it was uh, silver paint. To just touch the bolts up and that's that what do I reckon of this kit well as if you watch my build log you know I have not got on well with this kit really it turned out beautiful enough the only thing is obviously I had a bit of trouble with the exhaust and a few other bits and pieces on the actual kit itself but that's most probably just me because a lot of people I've spoken to have also said that they're building the kit and it's wonderful and it's been no fitting issues. So it is most probably just me. I've I've had my head in a bit of the clouds recently because of other things that are going on in my private life. Um, so shall I say my head was not in this kit really so... That's what I'm putting it down to. How is the turnout? Well, it speaks a thousand words for itself, really. Uh, she looks beautiful. The zero paint set for it has just brought it to a next level. Um, with that chrome powder, look, it's all, the whole thing's just so shiny. Um, the green was not bad as well. It's quite a nice touch to have the green on it, all the decals and the um, the circles on the wheels. It just really makes it stand out. The only thing I'm not a bit confused with are these little flaps here. I thought were wing mirrors and have should have reflectors here. But obviously there is no reflectors, so I'm a bit miffed. Not miffed, a bit like confused what those actually are they most probably maybe air related things so the air goes under underneath something to do with um aerodynamics maybe i don't really know um i don't know why this front fairing came out all blotchy like this but as you can see the fuel tank didn't but also if i do um I had a bit, as you can see, quite close. This camera really picks out every single individual <laughs> problem. Uh, you've got, obviously I've marked up a few of the plastic bits. But it just it really needs just a clean off, I guess. Fingerprint now as well. Um... The turbo is a nice touch, it really stands out the supercharger in there that's red. You got the brakes with the Bembro red. And just go around the other side. You've got the front fret, front my guard, the wheels with the brakes, and obviously the engine in there. Um, the radiator down in there as well but otherwise she has turned out a very nice looking kit and also there's the dashboard speedo um, with all the cables and that in there so she has turned out quite nice um, other than that got obviously the uh, rear number rear light there it's a bit fogged actually which is a shame I need to still touch these up these were the bits that the plastic was connected to the sprue um, with the exhaust system you can see where I split it there there's a little bit of filler and that's pretty much it she did come out quite nice 
now the main question is would I buy her again and in my opinion no <laughs> I wouldn't purely because um, the problems I have with this kit as I said me personally nothing I don't know whether it's a kit or not but with the problem problems I have had has put me off it um, which is a shame because I think it actually turned out quite nice looking but no I wouldn't buy it again um, because where I had such troubles it's just put me off it completely but I don't know it's just I don't really know but um yeah so that's my product review she went together good watch out for the exhaust and a few other bits where it tells you to paint and you shouldn't that's the only bit of advice I can give you for this kit uh, other than that uh, it's worth going out and buying it um, if you haven't built it before but I won't build it again um, other than that Thank you for watching this build series and I do apologise that I haven't been too enthusiastic about this build. I'm going to have a break now from motorbikes for a while um, and after this video I will be starting the Highway Ra plastic Penigali kit. I think that's how someone corrected me on how to say it. I think that's the way you say it. Um, other than that, I'll be coming back shortly with a video of my uh, Mercedes-Benz SL 300 SL going, which should be done, well, I've no plans on smashing that out, but that one's coming together very nicely. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this build. Sorry about the moaning. Um, have a great day, and if any of you guys decide to go out and buy this kit uh you're more than welcome to post up the your build logs on my uh facebook group uh that's gd models community just type that in and you should find us um if you carefully there should be two things that come up a page and a group the page is no longer active but the group is i accidentally made the page thinking i made a group and when I first made it so I actually made that one by mistake I, I don't post anything on that anymore so there's no real point liking that but if you go to the group um, everyone posts up on there and everyone's more than welcome to put as many photos up and also I'd like to mention um, there's not many rules in my group to be fair um, I know with a lot of YouTube uh, Facebook groups there's like rules and some people get quite funny if you come off the subject of talking about models but our group's not like that you could put if you wanted to put up anything how to make a pizza you can um or it's just generally nice discussion and just chatting about models but if you want to chat about other things um the only thing I would say that I'm not too keen on going on the YouTube group a uh, Facebook group is politics purely because it's a very touchy subject and everyone is quite passionate about politics in their own right and talk about politics generally just leads to arguing um, other than that thank you have a great day and happy modeling goodbye for now